What's up, guys? It's your boys, Bodhi Slap God and Nibeezy. Nibeezy! The Mump Squad. We're live. We're live from, you know, the stadium of Jacksonville, New York. Yes, sir. All right. I call that home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jacksonville. <laughs> what? Jacksonville, New York? Jacksonville, New York. You call that home? If y'all don't... Yes. Okay. Y'all don't you know, know what that it. is? That's in the country of Austria. Absolutely. You are a <laughs> geographical genius. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah, I'm a giraffe. All right. <laughs> this is one off with a banger. Um, so we Bro, got, every episode is a banger. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Gunshots. We got <laughs> we got two topics, two subtopics for you guys today. Um, pretty pretty good one here. If you didn't already, uh, leave a five star rating and six stars, baby. Yeah, you guys already know by now. Come yeah, on. review us. Let's go. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, check out the last seven podcasts. We're on number eight. It's number eight, yeah, baby. Let's go. We're making our way downtown, walking, walking fast, fast, faces, faces pass, passing. and we're homebound. I'm so homebound. All right. Uh topic, yeah. Right. Topic number one. Let me tell you, dog. Tell me about so, it. So, last podcast. What did we talk about? About halfway through. Uh, gorillas for president. A gorilla becoming a president, and yeah. it was great. Yeah, you should it check started, it out. Yeah, it was everybody hilarious. check out podcast number seven, Harambe for president. It is great. We had some laughs. I thought, what if we were president? All right. It's terrible. If you were president for a year, Louis, what would you do? What would you change? What would your legacy be? How okay. would you leave your mark on the world? Yeah. Let's talk. Um, okay, so one year isn't a lot of time to do a lot it's of things. Not. So I'm not going to do anything that has to go with like changing laws. and. Well, that's a process as it is. If like you want to change a law, so it's going to be a gonna process. Do, this is going to be my main, like, main slogan. Okay. Vote me for president. You vote for me, free ice cream for a year. Okay, but the thing is... Any flavor you want. There's no slogan because you're already president. You already won. Congratulations. You were no, already in office. That my slogan. And no, then, forget your slogan because you already won. And then I'd win and everybody would get free ice cream. Free ice cream, everybody. How are you going to sit and distribute free ice cream? Mm, dairy cows. Dairy cows. Everybody gets one dairy cow. Yes, everybody gets a dairy cow. <laughs> it's a, I give you a free dairy cow. Okay. And you have to make the ice cream. Yeah, 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 But in turn, you're getting free ice cream because you're getting a free dairy cow. Right, you earn it. Yeah, and if you, you want to kill it, cow it. and eat it, then do it. Then you got burgers. Yeah. So basically, I'm giving you free burgers and free ice cream. Okay, so I like that. And free milk. Bobby gets selected. Everybody gets one cow. All right. What about the vegetarians? I'll give them, I'll give them a grass cow. What it do you mean? grass. Yes. Yeah, so the grass out. As cows do. It poops the grass out. Vegetarians eat the grass again. From the cow's poop. Poop. <laughs> Their fecal matter. Yes. Fecal hey, matter. speaking of fecal matter, did you hear about Odell Beckham? Um, I saw some clips and everything on social media. I saw some <laughs> rumors. Dude, I don't think it's Yo, true. There's no way know, this man. Odell Beckham is bro. a guy that plays in the NFL. He's a football player that plays for the Cleveland Browns. And apparently there's a rumor going around that he enjoys fecal matter during sexy time it's about how would that rumor even come up i don't think it's true because, because what if a girlfriend that like he broke up with okay was like yo i'm gonna ruin this guy's career yeah but why and then drop the mic is he married i don't know what would you do because i honestly besides free ice cream i don't really know like we're doing this podcast right now we're we're six feet six feet apart absolutely what was our Um, yeah, we're six feet apart. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, I feel like a normal human instinct, I mean, it might not be normal from, for some like other people, but like for me, if I'm going to sneeze or cough, I'm going to face away from you and sneeze and cough my germs. As a common backwards. courtesy, yes. So it's like, I mean, I get the whole mask thing, but like the mask I wear at work, like if I sneeze, it's going right through it. Yeah. These people that like wear masks that are like got holes in them so they can breathe and it's like bro that's literally leaking out your germs makes no sense so mask gone well a mask doesn't prevent anything i feel like because everyone's still walking around touching all these things at the the grocery store hmm do i want this nope put it back yeah okay i mean you're not really preventing anything from happening the mask is more just a formality it looks like corona's a hoax anyway it's fake news i mean it's real well it's real people die from it and people get sick from it 
but I feel like. But is it a pandemic? I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's as serious as everybody. So I mean, I get they do a lot of things, and like, it's kind of weird that like, you could be a football player and make millions of dollars, and you're kind of like, an icon, but you could be the U.S. president and you make half of that. Yes. That's crazy. I mean, I would definitely. So that's one thing I would change. I don't think too. they deserve more money, honestly. Sure. I think. The president. I don't think they deserve more than no. Four hundred. I mean, that's four hundred thousand. That's a lot of money. Would what? change. I do agree that professional athletes and these, I guess, celebrities, famous people, that kind of stuff. Good on you. Movie stars. Movie stars. Yeah, like, like cool. Like, I'm glad you have this passion, this talent to be able to sit and provide for the people and entertain them. You know. Yeah. That's awesome. But one thing I would 100% change is first responder salary. 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you because, like, we've we talked about this before and I've talked to plenty of people about this before. I don't think what we do, we get a paid enough for. I'm not sitting here trying to be greedy and be like, yeah, we should get paid a million dollars a year to be no, a not first responder. But... but at the same time, like, the things we see, the things we do, the things we deal with, the long hours, we don't get paid enough for that. It's very. I'm happy where I am with money. Because m me and my wife are good with money and we save money and stuff like that. But there's other people, other first responders, EMTs, other police officers in like more dangerous cities and states that get paid less than us yeah. or the same and deal with more shit than we deal with. We deal with some stupid shit here and there. And well, there's always those things that come up that it's real world shit and yeah. you pay for those like you said a million two million dollars cool i understand you're a public figure yeah you entertain people and you're sponsored by these people cool i get that but there's no reason that people go out every single day and make sure they have that ability to do that and they literally put their lives on the line well and like, they have like this potential to yeah. die every single day and they yeah. get paid half-ass salaries yeah like come on life of a segment that we've been doing the last few let's weeks. go i love this segment uh last week's segment was awesome so it was great if you didn't see that check that out episode seven we talked about the life of a gorilla and he became a president seven okay. <laughs> life, of a... life of a the life of a hammer life of a hammer you just get pounded dog yeah i'm just trying to pound people dog. you just pound bro yeah just pound all day long this would probably be a quick life of a yeah isn't what you can do as a hammer i mean you have one purpose in life so it's just basically this. you're just gonna get bought from the store People are going to bring you back and yeah. smash your head on things. Absolutely. Do you think hammers get headaches? <laughs> yeah, probably. Man. Think, have you ever used see. the back end of a hammer? Do you know what it's, it's for? Pull a nail out of the wall? Damn. All right, well, I got nothing for you. That's all I got. Yeah, me either. Life of a hammer. Life of a hammer. Pretty pretty shitty. Not a good time. Would recommend it for you guys. The second uh, topic is brought to you by Drumroll. Oh, shit. My little whop on the ass. Louie. Yeah, good year tire. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking what it would be like if you lived in the world of certain movies. So. Star Wars. Um, one of my favorite series. Um, honestly, if I was in the life of Star Wars, from a very young age, they look at every kid to see if they have the Force inside them. Do you have the Force inside of you? Yes. What do you have inside of you? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, to, we start training and then Anakin will I'm come gonna, in. I'm gonna do a Kylo Ren and I'm gonna oh, yeah? and I'm gonna flip to the dark side. Well he came back to the light though. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, and I'm gonna die. I okay. Alright, so if I was in the world of Star Wars, right? Yeah. I feel like I would So I live now in Montana. What's the closest world that resembles Montana? Tatooine. Alright, listen. <laughs> <laughs> My best life. I mean doesn't Darth Maul go there at one point? Yeah. And because he's chasing who? Uh, Qui Gon and yeah. Obi Wan and so, Anakin. I'd be surprised sitting like chilling in my hut, you know, eating some space food, just having a good day, reading the paper. Yeah, blue milk. And then I'd be looking at outside my window and I just see Darth Maul just sitting there. Like, I'd be going to like take a bite, like some cereal or something, and he's just sitting there like knees in the sand, like, and I'd be like, God no, God no, me. I'd be like, right. <laughs> And I'd be the new, I'd be the new Sith Lord, and you shall be now known as my, my name will be Darth Darth Bobby Darth Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up, guys? 
Oh my god. Can you guys come out and play or no? <laughs> you guys don't fuck with me. If we were in the movies of Marvel Universe, let's say Infinity War or Endgame, it doesn't matter. Actually, let's say anything before Thanos snaps and we all disappear. I, I don't know, man. I don't see myself as a superhero. I don't. I couldn't see myself as a superhero. I'm always why like, you don't have what it takes. I'm always on the villain villain side, like Joker. You okay. know, Darth Maul. Those are my like favorite characters from yeah, movies. Yeah. So like, I always see myself on the villain side, and they always lose in the in the Marvel universe. I just probably be one of those guys just standing by, like in my apartment, and I'm like, you know, like you said earlier, eating my cereal in the morning, mm -hmm. and then fucking Hulk crashes through my apartment. And I just like look over. I'm like, hey, and, he's like, <laughs> Ooh! and then just flies just out of fucking... my apartment. Are you gonna pay for that? And then I'm like, yeah, I'll probably, that's probably exactly what I'll say. Do Avengers have to pay for all the city damages that they do? I've always wondered that, like, at the end of the movies, like, it just moves on to the next movie and yeah. everything's rebuilt and fine. Yeah. And then they destroy it again. Yeah. Like, who pays for that? If you think about it, like, New York City, Chicago, Brooklyn, all these cities have had a real bad because you've had Transformers come through there mm -hmm. and just completely destroy shit. Uh, I feel like, dead ass, honestly, I'd be caught in, like, the wrong place at the wrong time. So they're having one of these battles between good and bad. Mm -hmm. And I say I'm out, like, going for a run or playing ball. I'm at the gym or something. Yeah. And it's, all this shit just starts happening around me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be one of those unlucky buffoons who's, like, trying to run away and I get killed by debris. That'd be shitty, <laughs> Like, dude. parts like, of the concrete just falls on me or... Cap takes a door off a car and, like, trucks it at a dude and, yeah. he, like, dodges and you're just like... I'm, 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 like <laughs> I'm behind, like, oh, no! Dead. Smack the fucks with your mind. Inception. inception. Say you're in Inception. Right, I'm in. I'm in Inception. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I just feel like I'd be like, again, I'd just be one of those like dudes walking down the street, and Leonardo would be walking past me and be like, "Hey," and I'd be like, "Don't fuck with the Earth again." <laughs> You're always fucking shit You're up, always dog. fucking shit up, Leo. Oh, scary movies. I love scary movies. Okay. Like what, what about Conjuring 2? Remember that Conjuring one? Conjuring 2? Uh, yeah, so I'm not fucking with that shit, bro. That's the one in the London house where all the kids yeah, are there yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. the nun makes an appearance. Yeah, I'd leave. I'm not staying in that house. I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, so are you participating in the nah, scary movies? Again, I think I'd be one of the one of the people that are getting scared. Yeah. And I'd be like, nah, motherfucker, I ain't doing this. And I'd leave. I'd just sit in my bedroom like pistol up here like this. I'm ready to. You gonna shoot the wall? No, I'm gonna shoot the demon. Silver bullets, dog. It's not a werewolf. I'm gonna coat it in holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of that shit, okay, this is kind of going off topic. Not really off topic, but how much scary movies cost to make, and how much they like made in the long run. Paranormal Activity costs fifteen grand to make. Probably. They made over a hundred million. The first paranormal activity? That was the only good paranormal activity. Uh, the, the second one, I think the second or third or whatever the fuck, however many there are, only spent about the same amount. They spent the same amount and made almost the same amount. You, know, you have to pay and a lot. If you pay for a decent camera, your microphone, because they they, the whole setting was the house. Yeah. And, and then you're like just the using like a GoPro or like some type of yeah. camera. So you spend all the money on basically editing and a camera and the rest is just really the, bad yeah. acting of well, like the acting wasn't bad in the first paranormal activity i don't know how the effects would work out i mean how much it the cost for the effects to happen and stuff like that well it's not really effects i mean like well there's uh, like, so like sheets getting torn off by themselves yeah, fucking, like that. so I mean, they were talking about it and they use like that nah, it's not i guess it would be like fishing line and they just tie it up with yeah the I, I imagine <laughs> that's how they would do it yeah you yank it yeah that's fucking cheaper than trying to set up this whole rig that moves everything hey, could you imagine to feed bro, the actor we, we make our own movie yeah the credits it's just two people <laughs> no 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 it's super long like super long but it's like actor number one whatever our name in the movie would be and it's and it's me and then actor number two whatever your name in the movie is it's you and it's like boom boom guy <laughs> and it's you and camera guy and it's me and then all the way down Every it's like rolls just it's like <laughs> Chef, <laughs> night busy, and it goes all the way down. Makeup like, artist, makeup artist, Bulby, <laughs> and it's just like all the way down for like twenty minutes. For like twenty like, minutes, mother, we just make random shit up. That'd I'm be... down. We should do it. We're gonna start 
recording tomorrow. So I'll stand by for this movie, right? Dude, we actually could. We uh, could. That topic kind of came late today, and we should plan better. But Sorry. It's okay. Please stop um, yelling at me, everybody. So, cool. So, we got our final segment of the day. Woo! We're going to finish off with that. Um, and it's Bum Tales. And this week, we're going to do a little different. We're going to do a little mix-up, remix. So, Bum Tales. With a twist. With a twist. So, we're going to randomize five words. I'm going to give him the five words, and we're going to both know what the five words are. And we're going to try to tell a story with those five words, based off those five words. Okay. So, I'll tell a line of the story, so I can begin the story, then he goes, then I go. We're going to do one sentence at a time, build this story up as long as we can go, and then when we just kind of run into a wall, we stop. I like it. All right. Let's ready? send it. All right. Y'all ain't ready Bump for this. tails with a twist, the words Let's are... go. Zinc, Jesus, trains, vest, smash, and loss. Okay. So you have to use one of those words. Are we going in order? Or could this be? Nope. I, I just go in order to make it easy. Or we're not bouncing around. Okay. So that's be a good story. You have to use one of the no, words you, yeah, in yeah. each sentence. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I got it. Once upon a time, a man named Chris woke up in the morning and took his zinc pill. Chris awakened from his slumber. And He's already awake. He took a zinc pill. We have to be awake to take the zinc pill. Yeah, he already did it. Yeah, I know. He's awake. Okay, Chris took his zinc pill, <laughs> began making his morning breakfast, and sat by his window to watch the trains. <laughs> As he watched the trains, his wife walked out. Martha. Martha. <laughs> Good morning, Chris. Would you like to wear your green or blue vest to work today? Chris slowly turned to Martha and said, fuck the vest. Let me smash. <laughs> Martha's, Martha, Martha looked at him worried. Have you lost your goddamn mind, Chris? All right, five more words. Go. Dog. Martha began screaming at Chris aggressively, causing their dog, Floyd, their poodle, to run out into the room, alarmed. As Floyd ran into the room, Chris looked at Martha and said, <laughs> What did Chris say? Tell me. He said, <clears throat> I don't know how to use this word in content. Hey, you got to keep it going. Let's go. <clears throat> Do you believe in magic? <laughs> <laughs> what is your belief? Nah. Do you believe in magic? He used it in the wrong sense. Okay. Chris said that to Martha? Yeah. All right. Martha replied, hell yeah, I believe in magic. Yo, Chris. You want to see me put this apple in a bag and make it disappear? Chris replied. <laughs> Chris replied, "Sure, Martha. Show me that apple disappearing. Throw that ass in a circle for me this <laughs> afternoon." Afternoon's the word. Martha replied, "Shut up," and said, "Watch this magic trick. Abracadabra. One, two, three." as she pulled soup out of the bag and not an apple. <clears throat> Chris said, God damn, Martha, you're a magician. Floyd, would you look at this? Floyd wagged his little tail and proceeded to dart out of the room to go be the passenger in his doggy stroller. You gotta emphasize what the word is. <clears throat> passenger. <laughs> Chris walks outside with Floyd and he opens the door to the car. Chris looks at Floyd and says, Yep, I reckon it's high past noon or high noon. It's about that hour we best be going. Hour. We, we, <laughs> we best be going, boy. <clears throat> Floyd barks at 
Chris. Looks like a gesture of, let's do this. Chris looks back at Floyd and says, well, since Martha denied me, can I rail you, Floyd? Floyd replied with three scared barks and began showing his teeth in refusal to let Chris smash his cheeks. <laughs> Chris drives all the way to the closest amusement park. He brings Floyd inside. He talks to the manager and says, hey, where's your go-karts? Carts. Carts. The manager replies, yo, can't you see I'm busy? I'm trying to make this fire verse, dog. You want to give it a listen? Chris says, nah, man. I don't want to listen to your shitty song. I want to go look at that pack of bears over there. The manager got real sad because Chris didn't want to support his rapping career. So he proceeded to go to the back office where he continued to do lots of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> After the amusement park, Chris took Floyd to the airport where they got on a airplane to go fly to Antarctica. Little did Chris know that Floyd was an expert pilot and Floyd the dog knew exactly how to fly this aircraft. Wow, Floyd, says Chris. Where'd you get the form to fly an airplane like that? Chris replied, Bork, Bork. Chris, confused by this, <laughs> proceeded to- You said Chris barked? No, I said Floyd. You said Chris replied, no, Bork, I Bork. No, I, I, oh, I, I meant, life. okay, hey, viewers, listeners. <laughs> Floyd replied, Bork, Bork, because obviously he's a, he, he's a dog. He can't reply, you know, to Chris's comment. So Chris got really upset by this and proceeded to touch his bunghole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As he touched his bunghole, Floyd winked at him. I think they're a couple now. Chris goes on to say, Floyd. This has been the greatest day of my life. Will you be mine? The end. And then they became lovers. Yeah, that was a good story. I like it. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for hanging out. It's a little bit shorter than podcast than normal. Um, but yeah, next week we got a special guest coming on. So it's super exciting. And yeah, so thanks for hanging out. Leave a five-star review. Um, let us know how we're doing. Make sure you keep checking out all the other podcasts. If this is your first podcast, make sure to jump back to number one and go all the way through. Give them a listen. Get to know us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bum Squad. Bum Squad. Out, baby. Bye-bye.